Hi, I'm Raul and I'm going to show you some stuff about chemistry. Today I'm going to be showing you um, how to convert between moles, grams, and particles. First I want to explain the concept of a mole. Uh, first, let's say we have one carbon atom. If we have one carbon atom, and if you take a look at the periodic table, you will see that carbon weighs 12. <clears throat> That's its weight. However, next to it, it doesn't specify whether carbon weighs 12 pounds, whether it weighs um, 12 grams. We don't know exactly how much it weighs. However, if you're talking about one individual carbon atom, we refer to it as AMUs. So one carbon atom weighs 12 atomic mass units, or 12 AMU. Now, um, a scientist named Amadeo Zavogadro came up with this number, okay, it's called, it's, it's uh, the Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so instead of having one carbon, if you have this many, if you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbons, if you have that many carbons, then you get this same exact number, 12, but instead of writing it in AMUs, you're going to write it in grams. So right now, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbons is 12 grams, and this works this number is universal. It works for not just atoms, but also molecules. And I'll show you an example with the water molecule. <clears throat> okay, if we have one water molecule, H2O, we know that oxygen weighs 16 AMUs, because we're only talking about one oxygen. And we know that hydrogen weighs 1. In this case, we have two hydrogens, so it's 2. So 2 AMUs plus 16 AMUs, we have a total of 18 atomic mass units. So one water molecule weighs approximately 18 atomic mass units. However, if you have if you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, if you have this many water molecules, then instead of 18 AMU, it's going to be 18 grams. Notice, it's the same exact thing, the only difference is that if you have one water molecule, it's AMUs, but if you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules, then it's 18 grams. This is why in the periodic table, they don't write the, the units, because it could either be AMUs or it could be grams. Now with this said, we're going to do some conversions. <clears throat> also, another thing before we continue on to the conversions, um, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is known as one mole, okay? You could add the E at the end, or you could just leave it as mole without the E. Okay, so one mole of anything is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So, with that said, if I tell you <clears throat> that we have two moles, if we have two moles of carbon, right, how many grams, how many grams is this? Okay, the first thing you need to do is write this down. Okay, let's get this and we're going to write it here. Two moles of carbon. Okay, we want to go from moles to grams. So what you're going to do now is you're going to multiply by the conversion factor. This needs to go here in the bottom. Okay, so how much is one mole of carbon? Well, one mole of carbon, if you look at the periodic table, one carbon is... 12 grams. Okay, this cancels out. Moles and moles cancels out, cancel out, and you just simply you just multiply two times 12 grams, and you get and you get the answer, which is 24 grams. So two moles of carbon is equal to 24 grams. 
Let's do another one. But this one, let's do it with particles. So we're going to intensify things a little bit here. If I give you, um, let's say I give you 12.64 times 10 to the 16th, okay, atoms or particles of carbon, how many, how many moles is this? You're going to do the same exact thing that I told you before. You get this number that I give you, whatever they give you in your chemistry homework, you get it. And you write it out. You write 12.64 times 10 to the 6 atoms. You write that down. Then, you write your multiplication symbol and your conversion factor. Since we, since we are talking about atoms, this needs to go in the bottom. Okay, we know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole of carbon, okay? So this here, atoms of carbon are going to cancel out, and all you need to do is 12.64 times 10 to the 6 times 1 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and for this, I'm going to need a calculator. So I'm going to grab my my, my calculator, and I'm going to write 12.64 times 10 to the 6, and I'm going to divide it by 6.02 times 10 raised to the 23rd, and this is what I'm going to get. Approximately, I'm going to get 2.09 times... Yeah, times 10 to the negative 17 moles. So, this is the amount of moles that I get. Now, let's do something a little harder. What if I give you a carbon dioxide molecule, for example? If we have three moles, we have three moles of carbon dioxide, how many, how many grams is this? Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do, like, once again, like I told you, is write this down, okay? So you're going to write three moles of carbon dioxide. Your multiplication symbol your, um, you're going to write the line, and in here, remember, moles need to go in the bottom, because we need to cancel, we need to cancel it out. So, how much is one mole of carbon dioxide? Well, in order to find out how much is one mole, you get the carbon atom, and you add it to the two oxygens that you have, and that's going to give you a certain amount of grams. Carbon is 12. Okay. Oxygen is, is 16, and because you have two oxygens, it's 32. When you add this, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 3 plus 1 is also 4. So you have 44 grams of carbon dioxide is equal to 1 mole. Okay. Now, if you notice, carbon dioxide the moles of carbon dioxide are going to cancel out. This cancels out. And all you need to do now is 3 times 44. Okay. 3 times 4, 12. Bring 1 up. 3 times 4 again is 12 plus 1, 13. So we have 132 grams of carbon dioxide in 3 moles. And that's all for today. Thank you.